let's do a y to the third plus y squared minus 5y minus x squared equals negative 4. They're going to get long like this. We'll start with nice little polynomial curves. This one's going to be more on the lines of straightforward than anything else. All right, if that's the original problem in the book, that's what you write down first. Okay, now second step is always tell the person that's looking at your paper, you're getting ready to take the derivative. So ddx, so I'm taking the derivative with respect to x, y to the third plus y squared. Yes, it means you had to write the problem down twice. Welcome to calculus. Okay, then ddx on the right hand side. And again, I'll emphasize it's got to be in front. Okay, that line right there says, hey, I'm taking the derivative. Okay, now we're going to go. If it is a y term, you take the derivative like normal. So this is this nice little power rule. So 3y squared. And then slap in the, prime, uh, the chain. Okay, next term, y squared. Good old fashioned power rule. So 2y, slap in the chain. Minus 5y. When I take the derivative like normal, I get a 5y prime because you slap in the chain. Now, when I get to the x squared term, that's on the different chain with respect to x. So I don't have to do anything normal other than just take the derivative. So minus 2x. And then derivative of constant on the right hand side is always going to be zero. All right, now I'm almost afraid to let you do this because if you skip too many steps, this is where you have a tendency to make a mistake. But can we see that this term has a y prime, this term has a y prime, and this term has a y prime, correct? Mm -hmm. So those stay on the left hand side. This is the only thing that's going to the right hand side. Now, if I'm going to solve for y prime, and I've got these three terms in this line, in the very next line, can I go ahead and factor out y prime? Because yeah. <laughs> it's going to shorten it just a little bit. So y prime. And then, you know, factor that out in that step. So 3y squared plus 2y minus a 5. And at the same time, we know the minus 2x goes to the right hand side, becomes positive. So then it's a 2x. And then divide by this quantity. So it goes on the bottom. So then y prime is equal to a 2x on top, 3y squared plus 2y minus 5. All right, and again, what does this give you? It gives you the slope. No. At the point x, y, which in other words, the slope at any point along the curve. This gives me the slope at any point along the curve. So then if I told you, I don't know, say the point two four, which I don't know if that's on that or not, but let's say it's pretend it is. If the point two four is on this curve, then what would I do? I would plug two in for X, I would plug four in for Y, work it out and I get the numerical slope, okay? Yes, it would. All right, but chances are two four is not on that because I just randomly made up a point. All right, but if that point was on the curve, that would work. Okay, now let's do it. This was just straight power rules.